Hi, it's Mary Jane here from Home for the Harvest and today's video is about this DIY trellis that we made uh, out of wire for the, these plants. These are ivy plants climbing up the side of the shed here. Uh, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was really easy to do. We just got all the supplies at Home Depot. It wasn't a fancy kit, um, but it turned out really well. So here's how we did it. So here's a blank wall before the trellis. There wasn't much going on. There was some dead plants, um, an old motion detector light that I had to take down, um, but not much. Um, pretty ready for planting and ready for for a trellis too. Um, it's nice to make a trellis against the walls easier because you don't have to make like a frame for it. Um, and I think that the ivy that I've picked will do really well here. I actually got a little plant, a couple years ago and tested it in this spot um, in kind of the shadiest spot um, and you know what it did f totally fine and it survived winter so I feel okay about planting these um, three nice big Thorndale ivy plants here I think they'll do really well um, if the one that I have had over the last few years is any indication so I've replanted that one and I'm ready now to get these in um, but yeah they definitely need a trellis and I love to DIY everything so here is the wire trellis that I've put together so there's lots of types of metal wire you can use um, I have used stainless steel wire before to make wire trellises um, I've used galvanized wire for DIY trellises. This I think is actually aluminum wire and which is what they had at the store. It was also very important to have measuring tape, obviously, uh, level. So first I took a picture of the blank wall on my cell phone and I just drew little lines on it where I thought the wire could go, um, on my phone. And, uh, that gave me kind of a basic idea of what I was after. Um, I did then do like a pencil sketch. Um, so I did a pencil sketch uh, and that was really helpful too, just to get it down on paper uh, a little bit bigger than on the phone screen. Uh, and then the last thing I did was I just took some painter's tape and I adjusted, I put I put some painter's tape where I thought the nodes would be of the, of the trellis and then I moved them up or down. Um, or over just until I felt like they were really where I wanted them to be. Um, I, I had to move them a lot of times actually because, you know, I thought, okay, well, do I want the vine coming up here or do I want, um, like, what do I want? Um, and once you actually have the plants and you're looking at, at the nodes, um, Despite all my planning, I still moved them around, I moved some of them up and I moved some of them over and then had to readjust everything. Uh, but I'm glad I did that because I really like how it turned out. So once I was double and triple sure where I wanted all the um, nodes to be, it was time to put in these eye bolts. So I picked some eye bolts. I just got them at Home Depot and they have... Um, I like a long neck before the in between the threaded part and the eye part I read that you should have at least an inch or two between the wire part of the trellis and the wall so these did that perfectly for me um, and I was able to put the entire threaded part into the wall and that was nice because you didn't see any threads you just could see the solid uh, head part of the eye and they looked quite and I think they looked fine. They weren't from a kit or anything. These were just from the fasteners aisle in the Home Depot. So you can see how there is quite a bit of space. There's about two inches of space between the wire and the and the wall. And I think that'll be really nice to have for the ivy. At the end, I'll just twist all these ends and clip them off. Um, so that they kind of blend into the background. This this trellis isn't invisible, but it's pretty minimal. Um, it's hard to see it if you just step back and look at the wall. You can't always see it, uh, which I kind of like because I want it to be about the plants. I don't want it to be about the trellis. 
Um, the trellis is, you know, nobody goes to a garden to look at a trellis unless you're also interested in building a trellis. Um, I think, I think the trellis should be about the plants and certainly this one can show off the foliage without taking over, um, itself. Here's what this DIY trellis looks like um, right after we made it, before we planted anything. Uh, you can see all the wires are up um, and it's just ready and asking for some plants. So I've got three of these uh, Thorndale ivy plants, which is what I'm doing on my trellis. You could do other climbing plants too, um, but this is what I've picked for my situation. So climbing plants from the nursery sometimes have um, well, they usually come with uh, a stake. So this particular plant has a few bamboo stakes and then some of this, like, um, it's almost like flagging tape uh, or some of them will have tomato wire twists or, or even I've seen twist ties just to hold the wire onto the stake. Uh, so I'm gonna carefully remove that all before I start moving this plant around and trying to plant it um, because I wanna actually see what's happening <laughs> each plant before I plant it because if you plant a plant and then realize it would have been better to plant it in a different orientation or some in a different place um, that's not so so great if you find that out after you've already planted so I've got all the wires off of it I've got the stakes away from it and I can actually take a look at the vines and the roots how they go into the soil um, now for my particular trellis the wires um, from the first node split into two directions. So I know that each of these plants is going to go up as a single stalk and then split into two. So I'm looking for, okay, how can I split this plant into two? Okay, so once you've kind of figured out which plant goes where and which vines are going to go up in which direction, um, then it's actually time to start planting them. Most of these plants are vines that you can just lay along the ground while you're trying to figure things out. So lay. So I've laid half of the plant, half of the vines in one direction and half of the vines in the other direction. Um, and I find, you know, for this particular application, I found it looked best if I twisted them. So I kind of twisted them as they approached the, the bottom node and and that helped them look um, like a single stalk, like a bean stalk almost, um, because it was twisted. And then I split them off into the two halves um, at the bolt. So what's left is to get the drip irrigation line um, in the ground. So that'll help the vines um, and make it a little bit low maintenance <laughs> for me. Uh, and uh, move those boxwoods that are kind of in an awkward spot. Um, and that will be pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, um, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Um, that totally makes my day. Thank you um, for letting me know what videos to make more of. Um, and if you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel. There's a red button and you can subscribe to my channel and get more videos like this as I continue to make them. I have a ton of more videos to make, so I'll see you in the next one.